Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon and good morning to you. <clears throat> good afternoon. We have, we have two of us. You're going to get my picture. For some reason, Google Chrome is oh. not letting me into the video. Just as oh, well. Wow. Who needs to see this ugly face anyway? So, how's how's the how's the audio? Fine. Yeah, fine. Oh, yeah. It's okay. perfect. Uh, let's wait a few minutes. See who else shows up. Uh, you're a, you're a late starter. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Frank, get in touch with you in the last few days. Is that the idea? Yes, yes. Thank you. And what's you. what's your work? Although we'll we'll hear more in the introductory remarks. But what yeah. are we, no, I work is uh, I work in the area of education, and we bring power of nature into education to make the responsible planet. Yeah, uh, we're going to do uh, introductory remarks and each of your perspectives on the need for a global green new deal for in about six minutes each, and that way we'll have plenty of time for questions okay. and interactions. Yes, no issue, no issue. So uh, can no. I start or is it? We no. Wait the- well, we're going to wait uh, four more minutes. If no one shows yes. up by five, by uh, in four okay. minutes, we'll start. Oh, nice. Uh, let me just see who is now listed. And I wonder, I might be able to do this a different way. Let me just say. We have Noel Akpata and Sunil Lavani still still uh, expected. So we're going to wait three more minutes. Oh, nice. And then we will start and let them join. We do have we do have three in the room, which is good. Yes. Well, they will just have to. They will just have to join us in process. I'll, a few words on who I am. Uh, my name is Bill Bill Bonnet. I am chairman of the uh, Smithsonian's Environmental Research Center here in the states. Uh, I am also on the board of an NGO here in the states called American Forests, and I'm chairman of the board of an NGO operating in Africa in solar energy and renewables called Little Sun. 
So I have three uh, affiliations that are relevant to what we're talking about today. The Smithsonian, of course, Little Sun, and uh, American Forest. So I come with some knowledge about a number of topics, while not necessarily purporting to be an expert in any one of them. So, uh, uh, so Neil, why don't you go ahead and start, or Srinjay, why don't you go ahead and start and give us a five or so, five or six minute uh, brief summary of your work and your perspective on uh, uh, the necessity for a Green New Deal. Thanks. Well, really appreciate this. Uh, Green Deal is a very crucial deal. How we interpret is very important today. I represent uh, youth of India today. And when I say India, uh, I've been part of not only my business says I work with a lot of large corporates funding their requirements with more sustainability and how important the industries today are working, especially to getting a, a sustainable technology to perform. They are looking next 50 years when they put up a plant today. They understand what kind of uh, uh, emissions that they'll have to uh, cover the points over the period of time that they are doing it today. So that's the kind of alarming situation even the industry, the policymakers are creating. But my emphasis today uh, is more importantly on the youth of our uh, country, not about youth of our country, but youth of the world. What we are dreaming today, what we are aspiring today, what how do we want to develop the country that we live in today? We want to build a nation in such a way that it can last for next 200 years or 300 years. We don't know how long, but at least I know for sure that tomorrow my child should say thank you that I did something today. So at uh, our several other organizations, I'm heading uh, an organization called Young India uh, of the of CII. I'm heading their uh, climate change vertical. Now, under climate change vertical, what we intend to do and impart knowledge today is a small bit of your work today on ground is going to change the way you live in your surrounding, in your uh, home city, in your home state, and in your country. If those small changes start coming into a numbers, then it's a larger impact that we are doing. We are telling the government, please continue to help us build up large factories, large corporations, which can create large employment. Having said this, we are ready to give you a solution which is inbuilt to the requirement of your city, a city which is having more or greener patches even in the urban area. Today, a lot of our urban cities are uh, cutting their forest like much faster than ever. We are not having a green build actually in any of our main cities today. Now, what we have identified a solution is that if you provide us a proper land, our team is there to go and execute it. We need financing. Financing is a very critical component wherein today, because they are the pilot project and we are imbibing a lot of, uh, you know, a commitment from our side that this can really happen. What a forest normally used to make about 100, 100 years, Mewaki style of forest that we are uh, continuing to talk about today can be really in about 10 years, you can see a 100 year kind of growth. Now, that's what cities are looking for. We need, we need not cut on the production. We did not cut on the employability. We did not cut on the uh, situation. But as long as if along with that, we are committed to the greener patches of our country, creating more water solution, which is uh, ensuring that uh, uh, appropriate channel of water connecting river, connecting each other for uh, solution can be created. Then uh, it's a long lasting solution that we are intending to talk about and cover the points. Now, when you're talking about the Green Deal, which is happening and the COP26, which is going to be scheduled, we have been a very, uh, you know, uh, in forward in terms of communication to even COP Youth for Climate. We are telling them the youth in last two years, India has changed. When I say India has changed in last two years, uh, the pandemic has taught us one thing that what global ambition that we as a youth had now it could be a possible technology was somewhere India was always uh, there, but not everywhere. But today, every youth, every 
old person to young person knows how to operate a technology technology to, to communicate with the kind of customer or the uh, vendor they are sourcing from any part of the world today india has learned a newer way of doing business today india is aspiring to be a m- more uh, playing a larger role in the global affairs especially the uh, cop26 if you see those number if you see those content written at cop26 i see a lot of imprints of indian uh, government or indian youth which has been imparted over there so with that bill i what i would to would like to leave it here is uh, we need to grow sustainably we need to take the responsibility and as long as we are educating the youth of our country that dream of making money but dream of making money with building a nation of your dreams which is where you th- do things on ground so with that i would leave it up to that uh, uh, over to you Thank you very much, Trinje. That was extremely enlightening. I uh, I have a number of questions. We're going to structure the discussion once we get through these uh, initial presentations. We've been joined. Please introduce yourself by a new face. Um, I can't. Can you turn up your mic? Any way you can turn up your mic. I wouldn't know how to do it, but maybe hopefully you do. Let's go over to you. You hold on for a sec. Let's go over to you, Vivek. Vivendra, can why don't you go ahead? Yeah. Uh, so why don't you go ahead help me with the mic problem? Yes. So, uh, I'm Virendra Rawat. Uh, I am based at uh, Ahmedabad in Gujarat and I'm the founder of Green Schools. So, we run Green Schools worldwide. to bring uh, the responsible education what's the name remember, what's the name of uh, we organize our name is green mentors right we are a organization we uh, uh, transform conventional school into green school conventional university into green university and we work across the world we work for un i address to un i address howard university i am the advisory board of external environment club of howard university and uh, i will uh, work for the m- many organizations including ugc including aict and cbc wow. really? and yeah, that, that we do uh, is this I, you I, are- I, I, I play form in the associated education i contribute wow the so yeah. under, under one website or a yeah, or yeah, a- I, yeah i have the website greenmentor.in so that website provide information about the, the work we do and uh, we on the basis of my uh, green school concept which i established in 2010 in the sm uh, suburban city uh, of gujarat the government of gujarat has introduced uh, 100 green schools and today the government of gujarat run 500 green schools on the basis of my concept and uh, the purpose of uh, bringing green schools green schools mean nature's own schools and green schools means where we consider nature as a supreme leader supreme guru and law of nature are supreme so we follow law of nature so we uh, bring the view of nature into the life of the students so we introduce the green games green game means indigenous games that has no impact on the environment like uh, if you go to the western games like especially european games american games they are all about excitement and entertainment while you go to indian games this is all about health and nature and environment so indigenous games their indigenous education and indigenous content because india is the largest reservoir of indigenous content and uh, in the world need that content to save the planet from the climate change and this content is working most of universities in the world and most of education system in the world and uh, we are trying to bring element of environment in every chapter every topic of curriculum so we provide green teacher training we provide post grad diploma in, in green teaching uh, to sensitize teacher about environment to be green games we have green classrooms green classroom means that gives you lighting comfort sound comfort and thermal comfort and uh, then we audit the energy 
usage, we, we audit the water usage, water recycling, space usage, human, in, human potential. The purpose of green is that to enhancing the human potential to save the planet from the climate change and making students to behave responsibly. So green is all about behaving responsibly with nature in terms of uh, business, in terms of the day-to-day -day life, in, in terms of any activity we do since morning to evening. Uh, do you have impact on, on environment or not? So we use, you, we use like latest technology, uh, we reduce the uh, uh, use of papers, we are using recycled material stationery in the schools, we have the green uniform, we are the first organization that had, had introduced climate store that provide uh, the that provide zero carbon clothing to the people in the fashion sectors we have the first store in Ahmedabad at Iskon Emporio and uh, the, our customers come so they take 100% organic cloth and they enjoy their life because organic cloth allows oxygen to reach your body and that makes uh, gives you more energy to work so uh, the, uh, we have adopted every element of the nature into every step of life. So especially in education, so we have uh, around more than 50,000 teachers, more than 10 million students we have reached. In the America, in the Europe, Europe we have less operation, but in Africa, Nigeria, and uh, wow. South Africa. And, 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 and uh, Vivendra, is this... Uh, Maybe the right word is a module or a system. A what yeah, system? A system. Yeah, a system. We transform curriculum and we work with and, the school. And is that provide and your cost model and your contribution yes, model? Yes, yes, yes. When you're when you go into a new area or a new school, what's that? Yes. What's that yes, model? Yes, yes. Yeah, get, uh, like green schools and green university it reduces your operating cost up to seventy percent. It saves a lot of money because uh -huh. it allows it allow you to behave responsibly. To use the water okay, judiciously, well, no, I, I, to use I, I, the resources judiciously. So the judicious use of resources is called green. So seventy percent. You're. I'm sorry. Repeat that. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Like uh, all cost goes down. The energy cost goes down. Transport cost goes well, down. That we that well, that we know. But initially, what's your cost sharing model with a new school? What? To provide uh, school, uh, uh, how we associate with the school university, we uh, reach out to university or university reach out to us. We uh, audit their resources and then we plan the policy to them. And we work uh, with the university school for from one year to three years till we transform the whole process. And the, when the process is transformed, we exit. So right. we have uh, the cost, uh, our HR cost, the time and the efforts we get. We make for a school, a school pay uh, for to us. And mostly we work with the private sector or charter schools. And we work with the individual student, individual parents, and uh, even the corporate sectors. Uh, and uh, we make, uh, we bring uh, nature into your life. Like, yes, so let, let's make sure we get everybody in. So, so uh, yeah. Thank, thank you. That's extremely important and new to me. So I'm learning something very thank valuable. You, uh, you, our new our new person. How's your mic doing? It, can can you two Good hear morning. him? No, we can't hear you. Please on open your mic. I mean, you don't need to see my face, but we do need to hear you. We invite Dr. Via moot Dr. Noel. Can you hear me now? We can barely, barely hear you. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Barely. Yo. We would not like to not have you participate yeah we're yeah everybody else is muted so no that's even worse ba barely how about how about yelling 
Yeah, we a little bit better. Just keep your mic more closer to you. I think it will work. Yeah, keep, can you hear me now? Yeah, just barely. Keep talking louder. Can you hear me now? Is it possible to hear me now? Yes, keep going. Okay, my name is Dr. Noel Akbata. I'm from Nigeria. And um, I am the managing director of Static Pro. Volume of mic is missing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, it's very hard. So we got the Nigeria. You're going to have to go, doctor, you're going to have to go very slowly and very loudly for us to hear anything. I never do Like I said, I'm Dr. Miller from Nigeria, and I run uh, an innovation consulting firm that helps organizations um, have more sustainability in mind when it comes to their innovation processes. Uh, we've been doing that for quite a number of years, and um, right now we have the, the backing of uh, several entities within the continent um, to roll out some of our consulting services uh, to the betterment of the continent. Um, um, basically, I'll go straight to um, the, the meat of the matter today in the sense that COVID-19 has um, exacerbated some of the inequalities that we see that public place, and um, one of the key issues that I believe we are unable to listen at all. You can hear me. It's very difficult. Very difficult, yeah. Can you wait and then we can give him another opportunity? I think I would log out and log in again. I would log out and log in again. Please do that. Good idea. Log out and log in. Let's let's pursue Trinjay, starting with you, we're obviously let's take the three of us. We have committed uh, people who understand sustainability, who understand the needs, yes, who are working hard in their countries. Uh, but we're except for moments like this. Uh, we are not collaborating financially okay. on any on any kind of wider scale. Okay. And I think what Frank wants us to do is yes. the need for a Green New Deal okay. is the need for us to learn how to work together more synergistically and and helpfully to yes. access the funds to expand our programs yes what's your each of you uh what what is your foundation or global outreach in terms of funding uh, uh opportunities that could enable you to grow faster is that something you're looking for or not looking for yes absolutely so if I may take this, uh, Bill, uh, today, uh, so we are present in about 55 cities pan India, and we are the official body. The Young Why is an official uh, uh, organization which is representing India at D20 as well as Kai, Commonwealth countries. Now, today, when we uh, gave them the idea of building up now, working on the climate change, climate change is not only about uh, building the uh, climate suitable or better for the future, but also, uh, you know, disaster management, because today we are witnessing all uh, aspect of this across the world happening every single day. Now, to uh, address this issue, youth needs to take the charge. Now, when we spoke about a concept called Mewaki or any uh, you know, water restoration or beach cleaning, or you talk about uh, uh, forests, however, no, the fire in the forest. Uh, we started developing, we started giving this knowledge to the youth. Today, in about 55 cities, these are all business leaders of the city. They have their manufacturing plants, they are leading in what they are doing, but they take out time every 
week about four hours to two hours in building the nation of their dream. When I say this, they have already identified the land portions which they can put up uh, the forestation in the urban patches, which is uh, in a way from 500 square feet to about five acres of land, which the municipal corporations are ready to offer that today. A. B. Uh, country is uh, telling the corporates to put in into CSR funding. But today, as we know, all the large corporates, they invest back into their own uh, backyards so, so that their uh, people gain and their community gains and so that those employees are benefited. Now, if we have those funding available, I can for sure say I can develop 10 to 15 acre of forestation within the time frame of three months, develop it for two years and see the kind of forestation happening at the urban patches, which is only... All right, Srinjay, so is that kind of vision and that expansion plan fundable under under the existing corporate outreach that you have? So, uh, and I want to correspond with you and, and exchange emails to learn about your progress so I can pass it on to uh, others in the states interested in Miyawaki. And what you seem to be saying is you come into a city, you gather corporate support who whose CSR mission will include uh, providing the land and you get the you get the forest under uh, underway and maintain them for two years. So that model, that financial model is doable to expand to 55 cities. What are your vision uh, beyond that? Do you have vi- do you have visions of, of even wider use of this concept? Oh, yes. In fact, uh, these are all the pilot projects which, he, which is being currently run. In fact, I'll go a step ahead about the financing. We've got the costing done. We've identified the consultants done. We've got the land done. Today, we are sitting on an opportunity. If somebody puts in money, I can execute. I do not have to run and get the permissions for. And today, I just need to have the financial closure. Now, second ar- aspect to this is, in fact, we want to take it. In fact, Virendra Ji rightly uh, spoke right now about this green schools. In fact, this concept can be taken to the colleges, industrial park, industrial lands, uh, where, where the product, where the major manufacturing activities are happening. Now, if you look at those, you beautify those opportunity and look at where the world will look at you. Today, when India is looking to gain what China could have lost in the last two years, the world is looking up to us. But if we look at the greener patches, if you look, we, we, if you're sensitive about our own climate, probably the world will respect you when you go out and lead your products in those markets. That's my take to you, Will. Oh, listen, of course, I, you know, we're, we're here for that reason. We know that. I just want to make sure you are adequately financed uh, for your vision. And it sounds like you are uh, uh, at the moment. I'd be interested in exploring with you how you broaden out your outreach uh, on, on not only on Milwaukee, but on other subjects and what your funding model might be in the future. But let's turn to uh, Vivendra. Could you uh, again explain, I'm sorry to have you repeat, but explain uh, the financing model and how uh, a Green New Deal, and what do we mean by a Green New Deal in this regard? We mean a greater awareness. We need greater participation of others in your work. We we mean uh, greater communication about the benefits of your work throughout the world, frankly and what funding it takes to bring that into, into, into fruition. Yeah. Thank you, William. Uh, I, we, in principle, believe in that. And any fund coming from hurting to nature should not allow to heal the nature. That is the goal. Uh, we cannot use the fund that... Uh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's not the threshold. I, so, I understand. So, Yes, yes, I'll just let me complete. Uh, and the green is all about your your behavior with nature. Right? So we need to uh, inculcate the nature rituals in the 
among the student among the children because we firmly believe that after age of 22 year we cannot change anybody's habit so if you, uh, you, your habit is to hurting nature in your day to day life you cannot change it after 22 year you can change it from the age uh, 6 to 14 only so we need to uh, administer the green rituals how the nature behaves what is our responsibility toward nature how to speak with the animals how to speak with the plant how to listen the plant and trees what is their communication way we are here in all, all about econ- uh, electronic way of communication but is not natural way of communication we are connected with the through electronically through internet but not to the nature the ultimate goal is that when we understand the nature in more better way it doesn't need more funds well, right so the goal is that actually it is it reduces your requirement of funds right obviously what is happening the climate fund and climate investment it is not about investment it is all about changing the way of looking toward nature either large scale or the small scale so what we do is that until unless we administer the responsibility toward the nature among the student and this generation is not going to solve the issue of climate change the next generation is definitely going to solve it no i think this is the capacity capacity yes. willingness yes i think it's i think it's beautifully put i i understand it i believe deeply and accept and am enthusiastic about and want to learn more through uh communicating with you on email I, yes. back back in and i understand you want to be selective in your use of partners uh when you approach a corporate partner uh what and and explain how the criticality of, of what you're trying to do with the next generation how does that translate into uh do they accept wholeheartedly the methodology and the underlying rituals that you just uh, espoused do they have pushback do they uh do they condition their support on on doing it quote their way do you turn them down for support how do you really react to the corporate world uh, i i'll just explain that at the corporate world is all about the uh, a group of greedy people so we cannot expect uh, the uh, change from the people who have the greed in their mind and body and hearts so we are there to needy people because the planet belongs to everyone water belongs to everyone air belongs to everyone in my school i have, um, without having one mature tree i cannot give admission to four students because one mature tree omit around 11 kg oxygen during the day time and that is enough for four students so four students inhale 12 kg oxygen during their 6 hour stay in the school and they exhale some amount of carbon dioxide so that's why we called our campus as a carbon net zero campus so whatever uh, we we are behaving we, we we cannot borrow everything from nature we should contribute to toward the nature if you are not contributing at least we should not borrow if you are not producing the oxygen it means we are borrowing from at atmosphere because uh, the god has given us mind uh, which other animal does not have so we should use this mind for betterment for the planet because our responsibility is the planet is the ultimate the better than the nation we stay because the nation has the boundary the nature does not have verender so how uh, how long has what age groups uh have you uh introduced to to your work Yeah, uh, I introduced from uh, yeah, I introduced from KG to PG, so uh, kindergarten to postgraduate student. We are working with, and we are uh, happy with them, and we love to, uh, working with them, and they are very supportive. The uh, the old generation not supportive, the young generation are m- more supportive. Yeah, and uh, the best part of that, I just give example on every twenty fourth September during the UNGA meeting in New York, we uh, we host a Green School Conference. So we invite educational leader from across the world, 
and when we open the window you know uh, because we want to have a conference on the, with the natural air so most of the school leader they uh, they said no no we want air condition and all thing so that uh, i will say them if you are coming into green school conference i uh, you should not expect uh, the impact on environment otherwise you should not so uh, we c- we uh, can not uh, n- uh, change the world uh, if you are unable to change yourself the change begins from us from well, me we, we we listen from i mean of, yeah. of, of course of, of course of course i think all three of us understand yes, yes. understand deeply uh yes. the centrality of your message and yes. as as students grow up with this system yes. how do you see them in their college years and beyond do you see them prepared to help uh Srinje in his work how do you see the results if you will of this kind of immersion in uh the green rituals what what are you producing yeah so so green rituals we administer in the very early age the age group of 6 uh, to 8 so that allow student to understand the n- nature in more better way and more effective way and then uh, when the, uh, the uh, graduate we are graduating from the green universities they uh, they join the green job in the world so they contribute they become green administrator green lawyer green ruler green parliamentarian green do you uh, have a do you have an email or a social media network that yeah, uh, yes we have everything we have everything so uh, in other know. words you're a, well, for back to lack of a better word your alumni yeah. uh, have ability to stay in touch with one another in this network effect yes can it spread works. your work yeah we work across the world and uh, we are connected with the 10 million students okay. even the pandemic we have given them live lesson from the australia and from atlantic ocean from the mit and we are connected with the many universities and many professors who are working on towards sustainability well i i, I can't wait our community yeah, our community is accepting responsibility for the future yeah well i that i understand as shrinje if we focus on uh the human side of your work how do you find uh uh the youth in any given city through explain to me a little bit of of young india's work and how you relate you react to vendra a verendra um what's the connection that you see between between what verendra is saying and what you do with with uh with young india i think what virendra is doing is extraordinary in fact uh, i'll go a step ahead virendra we have uh, we work uh, when you say about what the youth uh, we have a ua network of about 30000 kids when i say ua network i'm talking about the uh, college going students in the age of between 18 to 21 we run a program called thaleer which is for the schools okay. wherein we have more than 1 lakh kids who are part of our network what we do work with them uh, will is all about nation building so it is right from uh, you know imparting a knowledge from uh, what is climate change or you're talking about uh, skill development you talk about uh, creating a, a myth which has been there on the organ to working on the rural patches of our country where are we are the connecting the rural to the urban city and uh, knowing the fact that this youth are the future of our country who can lead uh, india to the next level my only say to this uh, conversation is youth has to be the center of the new green deal youth has to have their say how they want to see the future of their own uh, world that they are living in for that they are ready to put hours on ground themselves they are ready to contribute their time to learn and impart knowledge on ground and today if we uh, enlighten at least even uh, out of 100 30 students who are uh, working on this ground our work is done they are the influencers they are the voice makers they can create the change that we want to see in the future cop 26 is essential climate change is necessity but the green deal has to work with taking all the sections of the society together so that we can all gain and make more uh, happier world in the coming days ahead 
What is each of your, uh, are either of you going to go to COP26 and do you have a role uh, at it? How do you view the uh, the ongoing COP process? What are your, to spread this message, how, how do you view the venues um, uh, that that are available to you through the COP process? Is that something either of you are a part of? Our organizations are. So uh, when I say COP26, CI has a say in that we are officially the voice, uh, voice of the India at COP26. And we are working very closely with the management. Well, the white paper will be coming out somewhere in the month of September, October, uh, when the COP, when the ECOP 26 is scheduled to meet. And what I see from here, and I was reiterating the fact earlier as well, India has a lot of play in this. India has a lot of say in this. In fact, the fine tuning of the points also have seen the imprints of Indian uh, contingents view on this. Okay, that, that are either of you on LinkedIn or uh, let me give you my email address. I'm available on LinkedIn. I'm also available uh, through W Bonet, W B O H N E T T at Yahoo. So if I might ask you, Srinje, and you, uh, Vivendra, uh, to contact me, I would be very, very appreciative of the ability to learn more. Yes, I'll be in touch with you. You're working great in your city and your area and, the, uh, and your interest is very great. I'm sure that we need to bring uh, uh, all uh, people who are contributing to our environment together. And yeah, I think I think Frank is a genius better. in that regard. I, I hadn't known of either of your work and it's extraordinary in each case. Yes. And you've added greatly to... Uh, my appreciation for what's going on in India. So if you would do me the favor, and it would really be a favor yeah. to take some time to uh, email yeah, definitely. and include some attachments about about what I, we've talked about. I, I do that. I yeah, know. and I, I think that would be the best way to continue this. We had some disappointments about hooking in uh, Dr. Noel, but it didn't happen. But this has been extremely uh, enlightening. Uh, Thank you so much. Cha- changing, you. changing the world. Uh, Frank Start. has reached out me in last moment, and we actually Please. are still with him. And uh, one of the we have we have one close common friend. Please. And we work, and uh, I'm I appreciate the work that Frank is doing, and uh, the scale he is doing, and the people he are communicating and connecting is great work. That's why I salute his work, and I'm happy to contribute uh, his work as much as I can. We here in India, uh, or uh, we are trying to bring uh, power of element, uh, power of environment, in education every day and every way, whatever we can, to make uh, the education more responsible and to make the better world for everyone to live, everyone to stay. Uh, this world belongs to everyone, not for, not only from. Me. Well, it's an extraordinary, extraordinary vision, Vivendra. It's an extraordinary vision. It's an extraordinary reach of what you're trying to do. Very extremely ambitious, extremely comprehensive and well thought out uh, and inclusive. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away by the breadth and depth of what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and Srinje, similarly, uh, the vision that you've yes. displayed is extraordinary. Yes. So, if again, if you would do me the favor, I will then take it on myself to do a, to do the job of of uh, spreading the word about this extraordinary work so as we all head you. into COP twenty six. So, so with sure. that, we were Frank limits us to forty five minutes, and we are at we are at forty five minutes now, as I see it. So I'm going to sign off with my enormous thanks to both of you for taking the time. And uh, uh, I look forward to a a bright future, thanks to YouTube, for sure. Thank you you very much. Thank Thank you so much.